Oh yeah. Got me a trout. Cool. No trout on the popping cork. Look, this thing also came unstrung and done a little bit again. Oh, there we go. Find our trout. That was good. Perfect example right there. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the, the yak pole here. See, A couple of weeks, you're about to be legal, buddy. But I never would keep undersized trout. Like you anyway. No trout. I'll tell you what, if I want to catch a bunch of trout, get my go-to rig right here. Little dinker guy. This is, <clears throat> if you got kids, children, or anything like that, this is probably the easiest way to keep, teach them how to learn how to fish and learn how to use a, I guess, an artificial. I wrapped that thing around quite, quite a bit of times and it still came undone, so I don't think this technique I have here working out too good. This be closed up tighter, but it's all good. Hear that, or it's coming undone as I'm throwing it out. Not sure which one. Probably the second reason there. On the top water, not too bad. <clears throat> it was more like I heard the the pop, and I just reacted and, and set the hook. But cool, first red today on the top water, so that's always great. Working it right against this edge here. Oh, there is a red, two reds.
There's just two reds right here just cruising. So I see two reds. I'm trying to find these guys. Good, these are good sized reds too. Or no jumps. There it is. <laughs> There's the reds. I've been trying to get them the whole time. Oh, finally, dude. They were big red, so I take it easy on this guy. You can see the other one right over there. I got 10 pound braid, so. Oh, yeah. A good size. Red. Nice, dude. <sighs> Behind me. No, no, no. Get out of there, bud. Oh. God, this guy's putting me. He put it in work. Might be over slot. Oh, nice, dude. Oh, my God. Oh. Whew. Twenty six inch red right here. Man, look at that. That guy is a beast, man. A beast. We're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. You know guys, I, I don't I don't keep fish. I hardly keep fish.
he goes. He's off. Go find your buddy. Man, that guy took me on a ride, I tell you what. Oh, I saw them cruising. It was two reds cruising right here. And that was that was the ones. They were, uh, I could see the size. They were big reds. I was like, oh, man. And uh, I threw the spoon at it. Uh, it wasn't interested. So I switched, switched rods to the K-Wiggler right here. It did its duty. No longer has a tail for whatever reason. But uh, it did its job. They hit it. And uh, I get this thing to stay. They hit it and uh, it was a good fight. Oh, trout? Oh, man. All right, bud. This one feels big. Catch though. There we go. Go red, you know, nothing too crazy on the K Wiggers again. Alright, so GoPro got a little too hot, no doubt. It's hot out here. See a little bit of movement still. Man, I don't know if that was bites or grass or perch but uh stay out here a little bit longer just because of that one red just kind of got my adrenaline going and that i guess now you're gonna see this video because y'all were not about to get a video <laughs> it was just a bunch of dinks and i was like man i'm not gonna post a video of a bunch of dinks i mean let me hear your guys' opinion. Like, do y'all care if it's like undersized fish? Like, to me, I feel like as long as you're catching fish, you're fishing and you're having a good time, right? Yo, what the heck? I think it's just grass. This feels weird. Um, I think as long as you're catching fish and having a good time, I think it's like that's all that matters, right? I'm just, I'm generally curious. Do you guys care if I post like a bunch of undersized reds. I know like a lot of people are from Texas so y'all know the limit but uh, for some people that are in Florida or Louisiana their limits for reds are a lot different than ours. Like they keep like a lot of 14 inch reds and like 14 15 inch reds and like here in Texas our uh, limit is from 20 to 28 so a lot of times I'm catching 14 15 inch reds which would, would which would, would other places would be fun but for me, if it ain't a slot red, I feel like I'm kind of cheating. Or I feel like I'm not like really uh, catching, you know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Like you're catching like, and we call them dinks, right? Or everyone calls them dinks, wherever they're from, but... Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, but y'all get me. I hope. See, there's three right here. Four. There's a school. Try not to move. They saw me. Oh, there's a whole school. Oh man, I was trying not to move. There was like six of them there. All right, they went. They went around me. My guess. They're somewhere that way. Oh man, that was like six reds right there. They weren't that big. They looked like maybe just that slot, like 20, maybe a little less. It was pretty cool. Oh, see, they're back, they're back, they're back. They're back over here. Oh, okay, okay. I see them.
Oh, they turned around. They turned around. They're right there now. You see them, guys? I don't know if y'all can see them. All right, let's see. Oh, too too far behind. But let's see if they turn. They've been turning around in a circle. Oh, something was falling. Man, there's like six of those guys right there. Oh, almost lost my GoPro again. Thought that didn't happen. That's pretty cool. Oh, I think they're right there. I think they're right here, right in front of me. I see something big. Oh, I think it spooked away. Oh, no, I got it. Oh. <laughs> Dude! Oh my god! That was a pool! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that guy choked it! Oh my god! Oh my god, that was a freaking tug and a half! <laughs> oh man! Dude, that guy yoinked it! Oh man, he's not very big, but Jesus, that guy choked the hell out of it. Dude. <laughs> oh, he's pretty good size. He's, he's, he would keep if I was a keeper. Dude, that guy choked it. This is one. Of, this is one of the buddies that was hanging out. Yeah, I knew they weren't too big, but dang. Yeah, they're like 20-inch reds. That were just cruising. Woo! This video just got better, guys. <laughs> that guy. I thought he like maybe one of his friends turned away from it, but Jesus. I stayed on it, stayed consistent, was able to get on this guy. Y'all hung around too long, man. Y'all should have take took off. I was kind of curious about why y'all stuck stuck around, but I'm glad y'all did. You put up a good fight. Whew. Look at that guy. He's probably a slot. Just about. Oh, yeah. Let me get my, my fish grips because he's trying to chop down my fingers. Dude, that was a nice little tug. That was a good fight, boy. What size are y'all? Where are y'all cruising at? Where are y'all bunched up cruising around? Yeah, y'all just... I pinched y'all, yep. Y'all right at 20, boy. With a pinch tail. That's cool, man. I'll let you guys get back to cruising. I know y'all just trying to go to y'all's meat or whatever y'all do. That was fun. <laughs> man, that was a... Uh, that was cool. I saw, I saw them all right here and... <clears throat> uh, I thought they finally took off and then I saw them again Barry just saw one of them and I was like oh there he is but then I saw it like this take off the opposite direction of the of the door but I guess one of the, the, the six that were still there snatched it up and man he he tugged it he he ran with that thing that was uh that was a that was a beautiful sight to see. That was beautiful. Oh yeah. <laughs> Good 
good one right here. buddy Ooh, it's a good red yes sir come on bud I don't want to have a 10 pound braid I don't want to I don't want to snap Come on, bud. Tire out. I'm gonna this up because notorious for coming through here. Brother, different red because I could tell by the spot. Oh, dude's heavy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What a unit. Yes, sir. Just popped right out. All right, let's see how big this guy is. Oh, this 26 three quarters see that Whoa. almost Everybody, that's it for the video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, uh, got on some nice fish today. Got on some nice fish there at the end. Hard work paid off, I guess, today. 